Okay. I'm going to go on a rant this morning. I am sick and tired of people leading the blind and they're just following. It's crazy. The idea that you put a queen in alcohol and it creates this sort of like a perfume, queen perfume that's going to attract swarms. Bullshit. People, wake up. It's a swarm. It's already got a queen. It's following its queen. A queen scent is different. Every queen has a different scent. Or else they would be able to, all the bees would be able to go into it, any hive there is, and there would be no fighting or nothing because it would all be the same scent. They all got different scents. So if they got it all different scents, they're not going to go leave their queen for another queen. It's a swarm. That's what it is. A swarm. It's a bunch of bees following their queen. Okay? So stop buying these bottles of queen pheromones and all that crap. It's crap. It's not for swarms. It's not for catching swarms. It's not for attracting swarms or anything like that. So, wake up. I'll tell you what that queen pheromone in a bottle, if it's done properly, okay, it would have to be done this way, first of all. You got the alcohol in your bottle and all that, and you, you put your queen alive, alive, in the alcohol. And then you don't want to squish it or anything like that. If you squish it, then you, you got chances of releasing the, the, um, <clears throat> uh, a, a, a scent or a pheromone that's going to alert the bees and, oh my God, danger and all that, and then the bees will go all crazy. That's a possibility. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a bee. But, that's what, the way I would think it would have to be done. Because you want the pheromones that's on her, not in her, basically. It's her smell, so basically her sweat. So it's on her body, it's not in the body. Which makes sense to me. Um, and then, I'll tell you what that would be good for. There's only one thing I could see that being really good for, and it would probably work for quite a while. If it's an old bottle, especially if it's an old one, like you gotta let it age. The, the, the more it ages, the more it's gonna have the smell, the, the strength of it, right? So you let it age and everything, and I'll tell you exactly what that would be good for. A queenless hive. If you can't get another queen within like I don't know two weeks a week two weeks I'll tell you what you can do that queen that queen this hive has been queenless for a day put some in there I'll tell you exactly what it's gonna do it's gonna stop the other uh, the worker bees from starting to lay eggs because there's still a scent of a queen bee Does that, does that make sense? That makes a lot more sense than attracting a swarm. I mean, it's not like putting a doe scent and trying to attack, attract a buck. Sure, if you want all drones, but uh, that queen would have to be virgin, first of all. Second of all, it wouldn't be a swarm. You would not be attracting a swarm. But, so, if you want to buy the queen pheromones, in case you end up with a queenless hive, then yes, go for it. Go for it. 
But, I'm going to try to attract a swarm. Come on, use your head. Lemongrass, honey, beeswax, sugar. Those are all stuff that can attract a swarm a lot more than a queen pheromone. I just can't believe that people are like this. It, it doesn't make sense to me. All these big companies, even these big companies selling the queen pheromone to attract swarms. It makes no sense. Who the hell came up with this idea and everybody's just following blindly? Just come on. I'm pretty damn sure that you put a swarm in a room, two brand spanking new boxes, okay, and this have to, would have to be a non-ventilated room, non-ventilated, and you put queen pheromone on one box, and you put sugar water or honey in the other box, you put the swarm right in the middle. I'm pretty damn guaranteed that the swarm's going to go to the sugar water or the honey. Or lemongrass. Way before it's going to go to the queen pheromone. Does it not make sense to you guys? Makes sense to me. So. Again, if you want to use queen pheromone, use it properly. Use it on a queenless hive so that the, the worker bees don't start laying eggs. Use it until you get another queen. When you get the other queen though, make sure to take that scent out. Like whatever you put that scent on, take it out. Smoke it like crazy, ventilate it and wait a day or two and then put your queen in your cage. Don't open it. Let her scent take over. Once her scent takes over, then you can slowly release her. Okay. Letters. <laughs>